Hey everyone, this is Rick and I want to take a moment to introduce, which is probably my dumbest product uh, ever made. <laughs> it's made at a request of somebody else asked me to make this, so I did and I, of course, being myself, took like two months to do it because I tried so many ways and times to do it. What, what they wanted was a spine supporter. They wanted something that held the spine of a comic book up so that it wasn't, so they wouldn't introduce any spine damage on a particularly delicate book. Or want to introduce any spine things like let's say you're photo bleaching a comic from above and you don't want the spine to go flat for whatever reason you have it's brittle you don't want to introduce any spine ticks or something you want something to support it well that hasn't been really a problem i've been using like uh you know monster energy drink cans and other stuff for a long time to put something under there but hey i'll say you make something for me i'll buy it like okay sure why not so I made a spine supporter. It's a thermoplastic formed piece of clear cast acrylic that I bend in the right shape and, you know, of course I experimented with the height and the size and the width, the thickness of the material, made sure there wasn't any transfer of ink if the stuff gets wet, stuff like that. You know, make sure it wasn't going to, if it gets peroxide sprayed on it, it wasn't going to crack, all those kind of things. So, you know, basically all you do is put it on here and it, it supports the spine. So right now it's only available as a prototype because what you're getting is the items that I experimented with in manufacturing and in making and the thicknesses. And so, you know, I just it just have all those experiments left over until I decide on what I'm going to do finally, but I'm close. So, but what I also did was on some of them, I've added these little finger, these little finger cutouts here. You can see to make it easier to, uh, one thing I noticed was it's easier to lift the book if you can put your fingers under the edges and pick it up off of there easily without having to you know, move it around or push it off one side, which is what I've been doing, pushing off one side to get the end up. And uh, that's it. It's not much more to say about than that. It's kind of a dumb thing, but you can get one if you want. And I have a couple, I'll show you a few photos here, of what they look like, let you see that. And then I'll, um, I'll have a little video here where you can see it in use. I'll let you watch this video and overlay and see how to use the thing and decide if it's for you or not. You know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not really any kind of a scientific achievement, but it is something that I guess is at least moderately useful. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh,